Hey everybody, welcome back to the second to last update for PN03. We have a brand new mission, brand new suit, and who is with me today? Hi, everyone. Hi, who are you? Uh... Who are you? Say your name for the strangers out there that missed out on Duke 2. Oh, well, I was with you on uh, something else as well, wasn't I? Like a secret Silent Hill episode. I... Uh, no, well, no, you were also with me on Zero Hour. I think you yelled excessively loud. That's right. Memories. But, uh, yeah. I have to I, always... I go by the sequel, Penguin. Yeah. And, uh, and he was so, uh, crestfallen, heartbroken, and, uh, enamored by this game that, uh, he wanted to join along. Uh, I and... have a deep and abiding love of corridors from playing Metal Gear Solid as a child. Of course, and this this level actually does mix it up a bit because we do have brand new corridors, and this is actually uh, this is a difficult level. This is that's why I had to bring out the the big guns. You can't you probably uh, yeah, can't can tell by them. the suit. You probably can't tell by the suit, but this is actually uh, a really really powerful suit. This is actually the Mo the uh, well the second highest damage that you can well no it's the m highest damage you can get on the first playthrough and it's the highest damage normal suit you can get. What do you need to the, do to unlock the highest damage suit? Um, you have to do stupid shit like uh, well first you have to beat the game to unlock one suit and then you have to beat the game again beating every trial mission. And uh, there's like 60 of them, and they're all randomized and time-consuming and not fun, which is why I did most of them already. Um, but um, yeah, I I really can't overstate how this particular stage kind of I don't want to say it turns up the difficulty, but they decide to just slam it in your face and hope that your face hole is ready for the fuckinging. That is uh, oh, going wait, to inevitably wait, come. We we we're we're, we're, uh, we're a family friendly LP here. I'm not. This room really sucks. Like these little spider bots. They there's like I think about 14 of them. What? Yeah, I was just wondering. Sometimes they just seem to slam into you like at random. Suddenly you're hit, and it's like, why? What happened? Oh, they they have a very small tell of when they're going to shoot. Like you'll see the front of them kind of glow for like a split second, and then they'll just like, whoop, and then they'll just keep firing at you. Uh, they also shoot off their other attack, <laughs> and Smooth yeah, I don't even. Yeah, I don't even know what was happening. Yeah, but looking at this game, they, I think the only redeeming factor is the animations. I think that was some that was some of my pro TAS speedrunning skills coming into play. But yeah, the, those little spider bots actually showed off their their other attack, which was to like they'll they'll shoot off the top of their heads as like a little grapple, and then they'll run up to you and explode. Which it, it is dangerous, but it's also super easy to avoid. Like that that sea rose. Its attack is super easy to avoid. That's why it does like so much damage. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking that was just a huge chunk of damage you took. Yeah, well, especially with this particular suit, you sacrifice a lot of defense to get offense, and that's also why they give you like that massively large energy bar, so you can pretty much they, this this particular suit does have really great energy drives. Like uh, we've already been seeing. I can't even remember. I'm gonna say it's not. I don't think it's Falcon. It's some bird, Harrier jet thing. <laughs> it's the one with like the balls that ricochet off everything. Oh yeah. It's it's good. It it does it does a good job of clearing a room, unless it's like this particular room here, which is way too big. Well, at least it's not which, a corridor. Uh yeah. This uh this room does show what could have been had they actually wanted to have big wide open rooms with plenty of enemies that I'm a master of dodging. Yeah, you were uh, just showing off there. Of course. I was like, I don't even need to dodge this shit. I'm perfect. But, 
Yeah, I mean, it. I, there's some people that have been saying like, oh yeah, this is a good game for score chasing no, or no, there's, building there's, up there's combos. There's two people in the entire discussion so many pe about this I've game gone, have said that this I've gone to the, I've gone to the PN03 forums <laughs> to look up the pro strats. <laughs> oh my god! But no, I, I I can see it like like on this particular stage, like looking at the the enemy waves and things like that. It does look like you can plan out things ahead and maybe get a nice good combo going, but the thing is, this is the second to last stage. By this point in the game, who cares? Like, you've gone through ten or nine other stages of the same corridor with the same two enemies that are only so simple to defeat. Like you're a game tester, right? Don't they usually put the biggest focus on the start and the ending, and then start like working on the middle parts? They well, no, it it really depends. There are, there are some games out there that kind of front load the story and the good ideas and everything. Uh, this this game, like the very first level, it did front load a lot of difficulty and ideas and. You know, like, this is how you dodge, and this is how you do this, and you want to work up a combo. But then it was, like, stages 2 through 9 that just kind of, oh, wait, we have to fill in a plot, and we have to talk about things, and, oh, yeah, we don't have anything to talk about story-wise, and nothing is going on, and... I, yeah, I think I watched every video of this, and I barely remember anything about it. We, for, for those who don't recall... We are trying to avenge, I think, the death of Vanessa's parents, who were killed by uh, cam robots. Yeah, I guess. Look at all these robots. Yeah. Uh, Look at that ooh, hotness. Spitting. Yeah, this is like one of the few times this this particular move is actually useful. Yeah, you don't Unless... really meet, uh, and even then, you got it to stick against the wall more against, than against the enemies. Yeah, the problem is like this little bridge is kind of like stopping a lot of the the pew pew bullets, and I also realized like I was wasting a lot of energy drive. <laughs> so here I was just kind of like trying to rush around the room because I gotta keep the combo, and I I do keep the combo pretty well in this room somehow. I I always thought like aren't you just supposed to partially kill a bunch of them, and then you know get them all in one fell swoop? Ah, oh, fuck it. I, I was totally lying. I didn't look up any first tracks. <laughs> I'm, I'm just matching my I, I uh, kind of gathered that from your pretty outrageous lie of this game having a forum. It, I'm pretty sure it has a forum. Like, I don't know. I do, I do really enjoy backflipping. Or trying to backflip in places I can't really backflip. I mean, it's uh, like I say, it's like they have a framework look at it, for us. Look at his little dance. Oh, he... He was dancing so hard for me. You popped a cap in his ass. But yeah, this particular stage is also... I don't want to say unnecessarily long, because it's really only like... 13 minutes. 15 rooms. Well, um, uh, you, you gotta measure it by rooms. Oh. And it's only like, it's only like 15 rooms. The problem is... They do shove a lot of enemies into the rooms. But I think this is like the third time we've seen the same corridor with mildly different enemies. I mean, I guess it's a realistic portrayal of underground bunkers, but, uh... I don't think we're underground. I don't... I mean, <laughs> on the pl on the planet of Ode... Well, you you know German. What, what the fuck does Ode mean? O-D-E. Uh, there's like, like an like E. Old to oh, glory? Like an, ooh. It's like an omelet over the E. Good. What? Uh, nah, you're fucking speaking Japanese now. No, it, it, I'm pretty sure. You know German, that's why I brought you. Right. You, like, the only thing I remember is like like the O to Joy. But. Blitz, Blitzkrieg. Uh, no. That's German. A Blitzkrieg. Yeah, that's lightning. Or... Pretty, uh... I thought it was, I thought it was like lightning attack. 
feet. <laughs> well, you're thinking of stormtroopers. Sure. <laughs> this is like, well, it's like we're in Star Wars now. Uh, with all the little spider bots from Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember this room? That was really awesome before. It was really big. Yeah. Yeah, they decided to use it again. <laughs> except it's... Except there's no enemies. It's building there's up no tension. No enemies. No, it's just so you can refill some health and some energy and get more continues. Which, I think I'm like up to 40 continues now. I read 27. So, uh, no, I, I've picked up two already in like a previous room, and then I picked up uh, another three that was hidden away in that particular room. I'm good at dodging. God damn, I suck at this level. Uh, it just goes to show that you shouldn't drink, mix uh, drinking and bullet hell games. I don't know if I was drinking whiskey when I recorded this. I recorded this a while ago in a deep <laughs> depression. You don't know if you were drinking whiskey. <laughs> like this. I, I know that this was probably one of my better runs, which is why I recorded it. Oh yeah, you remember this room too? I, uh, we, I, I'm pretty sure this game would be like a hell for some of the bad memory to play because you would never be sure where you were or what you were doing. Didn't I do this already? Yeah, this I think we did. This room was like two rooms ago, except it only had one gardenia before. The gardenia. Gardenia. Is that Spanish well, to continue with a European language? No, no. Thing? No, well, no, they're, well, just, well, their name is the German word for gardenia. What, what's a gardenia? It's a plant. It's like a flower. Don't have flowers in my icy wood stack. I, well, I know, that's why they have German names for flowers. Gardenia. Oh, isn't this a boss? I'm curious what it would be like. Well, no, if you pay attention to the um, amazing plot at the start, this is another uh, very dangerous core Ooh. that we've that we've already fought like three times, so uh, let's not do that anymore. Hooray! <laughs> Actually, this one is dangerous because if you do let it... If you do destroy like the cannons on the side first, it will start shooting at you, and it is kind of hard to dodge, so, you know, just kill it. Combo! Hooray! Thank you for joining me, Deceitful Pink. Yeah, it was nothing. 